I'm Dr. Matt Mooney. Um, I teach uh, web and interactive media courses for College of Business and Computer Technology. Uh, teach um, the introductory HTML courses through the advanced web development courses and mobile app development um, and even some CSC 124s. The big one as far as pedigree stuff is I have a PhD in educational technology from Purdue University. Uh, probably bigger than that though is that I've got 15 or 16 years of pretty hardcore consulting experience from Fortune 500 companies like Discover Card and Intel down to small mom and pop uh, businesses like uh, kitchen stores and bike shops. So I've been doing this since really the web was in its very early infancy. I was one of the early adopters with the, the world of the web, getting into uh, doing web development and consulting and things like that, and it was really quite by accident. I was actually working on a PhD in family studies. I was a domestic violence researcher, and I wanted to collect data, and the web was a brand new thing, and it would have been a great way to collect data, but nobody knew how to do it. So I took a class one summer at Purdue while I was a doctoral student and about halfway through the class realized I was having a lot more fun learning about this web stuff and doing all these web things than I was actually doing my research in family studies. So I quietly transitioned out of family studies and into um, actually educational technology where I started down the path of doing web development and uh, multimedia development. I was in my master's program and part of that experience was teaching classes and I had never taught before and I vividly remember walking out of my very first day of teaching my first class and it was literally a light bulb that went off and I went oh this is what I'm supposed to be doing and that's been the path ever since. I have to say the typical day for being a professor is one of the greatest things in the world. Um, we work a lot but we get to choose more of when we work. Um, some of my friends say I get to pick the 50 hours a week I work not uh, someone else. So I, I get up at 7.30, 8 o'clock most mornings and uh, I have a one hour drive to get to campus so I have to drive up here um, but then office hours teaching my classes, lots of meetings and things like that and then head home and that's usually where I do all my grading and a lot of prep work for my courses but it's a, it's a pretty nice life in that it's it offers a lot of flexibility to me and uh, lets me do uh, some extra things that I really do enjoy. When I'm not actually doing teaching related things, either reading, learning new stuff, some consulting work, that kind of thing, I'm a real outdoorsy guy. I really love um, being out and since living in central Pennsylvania is, is really nice for me because I can go out hiking, uh, mountain biking, fly fishing, um, all those great outdoor recreational activities. My wife and I both enjoy doing those and uh, it's a great thing. If it's not that, I'm usually messing with some music, um, learning a new instrument, um, listening to music, those kinds of things. One of the most wonderful things about being a professor, uh, for me, one of the most exciting days of the year actually is commencement. Um, I love being able to be up there and all the regalia, you know, the floppy hat that professors get to wear and all this kind of stuff. But to watch a student walk across the, the stage and get their diploma that they've worked on, uh, on earning, um, it, it's a really great experience for me because I get to feel like I had part of that or part in that. And it, it's actually quite an honor. I love hearing back from former students about how they're doing, um, both the, the trials and the triumphs. But that connection with the students and, and watching them mature from a freshman and BIM 100 all the way through their capstone experience is, is a really gratifying experience. While I, I love teaching all my classes, my favorite stuff to teach, at least right now, is the little bit more advanced when we start getting into things like PHP and databases and a lot of user interactivity. Um, it's just a lot of fun to watch r students learn really new material and uh, it, it's quite exciting. I think one of the biggest pieces of advice I could offer a student right now is to be committed to something. Be passionate about something. We don't all have to be great at everything, but we have to find something that we absolutely love because you're going to do it for a long time. Have something that you're passionate about and it'll all come together. 